Hello again and welcome to my shop. Recently, a good friend of mine asked me to turn a bolt action pin for him as a gift for a family friend who helped them through a recent crisis. Now, the recipient's favorite color happens to be purple. So my buddy chose a nice purple blank from Penn State. Over the last few weeks, I turned quite a few acrylic pins. And one thing I noticed is when the blank got rather thin and got down close to the tube, sometimes you could kind of see the brass tube shining through the acrylic blank. I did a little research on the internet and what I found is people are using acrylic paints to paint their tubes before they're gluing them into their pin blanks. So what I'm gonna do is paint this tube, but before I do, today I'm gonna build a holder to hold the tube so that I can easily paint it and allow it to dry before gluing it into the pen. So, let's get started. I need to make something to hold these tubes so that I can make sure I get paint completely covering the entire tube. I've chucked up just a piece of pine. This is a scrap I had laying around my shop. I'm gonna grab my spindle roughing gouge, I'm gonna true it up, and then I'm gonna waste away a bunch of wood to get this down to the size I need to hold my tube. blank fairly well trued up. Now I'm going to take my bedan tool and uh, waste the rest of the wood down close to the final dimension. Then I'll grab my calipers and dial it in. Inside dimension of the tube is a little under four tenths of an inch and we can see that we're still a little too large what I want to do is I want to be able to get most of the tube on this holder so I'm just going to kind of roughly guesstimate right about there I'll turn this down to this dimension the rest of the tube I'm going to turn it down to a dimension equivalent to one of the Forstner bits that I have so that I can easily drill a hole in this square stock that this is going to set in to uh, hold it upright. didn't turn out quite as smooth as I expected, but it's a utilitarian piece. I'm not going to worry about it. I think I might have gotten a little too thin, just a fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of this up and try to leave it a little thicker than that and uh, let's see how we fare. I think I'll very quickly just clean this up and maybe taper it down toward the bottom of the blank so that uh, I can easily get to the bottom section of the tube. I think I may have gotten fairly lucky. I grabbed a half inch Forstner bit and I went ahead and miked it out on my calipers and it came out to about five tenths of an inch, which makes sense, half inch. And when I lay the calipers on the bottom of this blank, I'm dead on to a half of an inch. Before I part it off, I'm just gonna hit it with some 100 grit sandpaper real quick, just to take any burrs off of it. Okay. 
end we'll do the same on this end this is a little bit easier I'm left-handed so cutting the right side off of the spindle was a little tough for me this side will be a little simpler I'll touch this up just with a little sandpaper around the edge to take any burrs off. Before we do though, let's do a quick test. That's going to be perfect. There's really no wobble in it. I don't care that uh, it's not beautiful, but uh, once I mount this into a base, I'll be able to just hold the base, paint the entire tube, set it up and let it dry. I hit the scrap bin again and just grabbed a piece of a one by that I cut off Lord knows what for some other project. And I'm just going to drill a hole, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch uh, to a three-eighths of an inch down into the board. Now a quick test fit to see if I really was on a half inch. And that fits pretty well. I'll hit that with a little dot of CA glue to lock it in place. And let's try it out. We'll give that pen tube a little bit of time to dry and we'll be ready to glue it into the acrylic blank. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you found this video useful and I hope it's something that you might be able to use in your shop. Before I leave you, I would like to send a shout out to a new friend of mine, Larry, over at the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Now I will include uh, Larry's contact information in the comments below. Please take a few minutes uh, and jump over to Larry's site see what he's doing. He's, he always does some pretty interesting stuff. I think you're going to enjoy him. Subscribe to his channel, like, comment. He's a great guy. I hope you guys have enjoyed what I've done here tonight. If you have, let me know about it. Uh, like my video, shoot me a comment, ask me a question. I always uh, answer questions and I always reply to my comments. And best of all, if you got a minute and you'd like to see some more videos like this one, see what I've got planned for the future, go ahead and subscribe so that uh, my videos come direct to you as I post them. I'll enjoy having you as a subscriber. You are always welcome in my shop and have a great evening.